Hi everyone, today we're doing I Love Dogs and Puppies, over 50 beats. Let's get started. Let's look at the back first. An Airedale puppy, or whatever you call it. This is for $10 in the US. So please read on to this and, go, and make sure you comment down below which one is your favorite out of over 50 breeds. Let's get started. I think this is a Border Collie or something. I think this is a Yorkie. Let's look at the table of contents closely. Pause it if you want to take a picture. Afghan Hound. Wow, it's very hairy. Let's read this. One of the hound group, the glamorous Afghan was bred as a sight hound to hunt in the mountains of Afghanistan. It is thought to be one of the oldest breed, breeds and is still very similar to the wolf. Its beautiful long goat means need, it needs a lot of grooming. So this puppy or dog um, needs a lot of grooming as I can tell. I can tell that I can tell from it as you can see here. And here is the Airedale puppy, and yeah, I'm not sure this is pretty bad, but I, but I think it's just too big and hairy. I don't think so. I like it, but this kind of looks like a Yorkie. Let's look, take a read. The popular breed from the English country of Yorkshire is named after the River Air. It's known as the King of Terriers. Due to its size, in the First World War, it delivered messages behind enemy lines. It is sturdy and strong-minded, but very trainable. So if you're looking for a, for a puppy, but a bigger Yorkshire Terrier, and um, a trainable Yorkshire Terrier, and you think um, a very historical, larger Yorkshire Terrier, then this is the one for you. And of course, this is not... All of the information you can just search up Airedale puppy or dog, and there's more information. Um, yes, I am making a book right now, and I'm trying to see if I can publish my books that I'm making about these puppies. And I love puppies, and I will be getting one like a Yorkshire Terrier baby. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'll pick Yorkshire Terrier, or should I get a Yorkie or a Palm, a Pomeranian? Because I am totally confused. But here it is. If you're looking for a Yorkie, this is the one. Big Yorkie. Akita. Let's take a look at the Akita. Wow, the Akita is pretty cute. Not that too big, but I think it's Akita. And it and it's native to Japan. It kind of looks to Japan as you can see from the eyes. Ha uh ha. -huh. In its native Japan, Akita was used as a fighting dog and to hunt wild boar, deer, and black bears. Whoa! The breed dates back around 300 years. There is now an American Akita, which is slightly bigger and heavier than the Japanese type. I'm not sure which one here is the um, Akita, um, American Akita, but I know that this is a Japanese. I can see from the eyes, but it is... But the Akita one is the American Akita is bigger and heavier than the Japanese type. But I think this Japanese type, I'm not sure, but I think so. You can search it up. Um, American Cocker Cocker Spaniel. I think there's a white one like this. Um, as I can see, I think there's a white one. Let's start reading. Although it is related to the English Cocker Spaniel, the American version is a separate breed. It has a luxurious, 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 long coat and enchanting face. Sorry if I can't read this word. I'm so sorry. It is summer. I did not read, but I'm trying to read and making my book, so I think that was perfect. Um, long coat and an enchanting face. It's delightful and easygoing nature makes it an ideal pet. Um, you, it doesn't have to be this hairy. You can always cut it and design it your own. You know, your own very own style of your puppy or whatever kind of puppy you like. Um, I don't know what kind of puppy you guys like, so um, make sure that you comment down below. So I I can comment down below and be like, you guys like this one or the German Shepherd or the Yorkie. And I have like some websites that or any online things or stores that actually allow them much like a better one, but not but cheap, but it's a great, a great pet. Okay, so make sure you comment, comment. Ooh.
This is way too much. Okay. Let's start in the B ones. Oh, ho, ho. Look at this. Ho, ho, ho. Actually, they mix the breeds, so don't worry if they look kind of different. Basset Hound. In the Middle Ages, monks bred this chunky little hound to hunt. Whoa. That is very, very cool. I don't think chunky is the word. I think chubby is the word. <laughs> Today, it makes an adorable pet. What? I can't believe. A Basset Hound has very long ears called leathers. It also has a very long body, which means several children can pet it at once. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not want this one. I don't like big dogs. So, yeah, if if you want to see the next one, which is called a beagle, well, please um, look for part two. Bye. I am just going to pause this video. Or oh, I'll just read to you, probably. The, the beagle. One of, um, that's the beagle and looks like a Jack Russell. One of the most popular hound breeds, the beagle was bred to hunt in a pack. They're an int intelligent dog and make a wonderful family pet. It is lively and affectionate and always ready for action. Um, yes, I like the beagle. It's pretty nice, but I don't know. I want, I do not kind of like the type. I like when it's how, it at our, um, how, um, it is a wonderful family pet. It's intelligent, but I'm not ready for a beagle. I'm ready for a Yorkie. So. <laughs> so thanks guys Look for part two because it's almost there. I'm just gonna pause the video to make part two. Bye! Mm.